Result. Yeah. It's a tribute to all the ones who ran before me. No one's been true, so y'all can understand his glory. It's a tribute to all the ones who ran before me. No one's been true, so y'all can understand his glory. It's a tribute to all the ones who ran before me. No one's been true, so y'all can understand his glory. It's a tribute to all the ones who ran before me. No one's been true. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Unsolicited, episode 29. I'm your host, the Evangelical Norm. So Unsolicited is just that. This is my unsolicited opinion on artistry, music, books, movies, whatever. Mainly it's music because that's where I where I tend to spend the most of my time is listening to Christian hip-hop and stuff like that. So the majority, but I have done a couple of book reviews and so on. Um, I think I've done a couple of movie reviews, not underneath the unsolicited title, but uh, back under just uh, The Evangelical Norm. If you check out the YouTube channel, you'll find all of those things back there. Done a few books, uh, a couple of movies here and there, and mostly Christian hip-hop, which is, you know, my first love. So, um, no, hip-hop. I grew up listening to hip-hop. Got saved quit listening to hip hop altogether and then suddenly found out that there are guys that do God glorifying hip hop music. And, uh, I've been hooked ever since. So, uh, and now I like to, to review their albums. So today we are going to do an album review for my man, Lou Chikuni. Um, so I first learned about Lou. Uh, I didn't know anything about him. Hadn't heard of him anything like that until uh, Cross Examines I Rap For Real uh, uh, contest this last time through. And uh, and so I got to hear a lot of different guys that I had never heard of before. Um, I actually like guys like Regenerate, who I'd heard on different uh, Christ, Christ-centric albums, but hadn't heard him by himself. Um, and so a, really a, just a lot of guys that... that uh, came out of, of nowhere for me. I mean, these guys have been around. Um, found out as I'm, you know, doing prep for for this show uh, that he actually, Lou has um, another album out that I just downloaded, so I'm going to be listening to that over the next few days um, as under the name Perfect Marvel. And, uh, and so, and now he is, you know, doing albums under the name Lou Chikuni. And the album that he just released a couple weeks back, um, again, I, 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 I try to listen for a couple of weeks, um, depending on, you know, just how long an album is. Kurt Kennedy, I'm looking at you. Um, just how deep the lyrics get and stuff like that. I mean, I will listen to an album anywhere from two weeks to I'd probably listen to the appendix for six months before I felt like I was... Uh, qualified to make a review of that album. So I've been I've been banging this for a couple of weeks, um, and again when I'm get when I know I'm going to do a review of an album, I don't listen real well. I can't say I don't listen to anything but that album. So I did uh, Ishan Burgundy's uh, Joppa a week or so ago, and so. I, and they were out at the same time. So I was kind of stuck in, in Joppa mode uh, until I got that review done. And then I've been like just committed to listening to this al- album. And this is um, probably immediately jumped up. I would say, I mean, definitely top five of this last year. Um, and, and I mean... It's hard to say definitely, but I would I, I'll say definitely top twenty of of all of my favorite uh, Christian hip hop albums, and and there's a lot. So I mean, top twenty doesn't sound like much, but I mean in reality, when you're when you're dealing with a catalog of, I mean, I keep trying to go back and get more and more from different guys and stuff. So I mean, you're talking, you know, I I could put together a, a pretty good top one hundred list. 
and this album is is definitely top 20 so a uh, couple of features on here that are really cool um, of course he's got uh, my man Strack on here which uh, again I mean I'm now I'm just I'm waiting eagerly anticipating the beat goes on um, Strack is is definitely one of my favorite artists so the the fact that he's on here cool thing about the other album that uh, he has and I can't remember the name of it um, I just had it uh, let me pull that email up again because I, I went to his website you can go to his website luchakunimusic.com and subscribe and you can get that other album uh, as Perfect Marvel for free and the name of the album is this is this is live podcasting y'all um let them hear by perfect marvel so if you go to lucha Cooney music do that buy this album subscribe to his email list and get a free download of his previous album let them hear so i haven't heard anything on it so i'll, I'll reserve judgment for that but if it's anything anything close to this again an album well worth having in your catalog um, of albums that you you know on on constant rotation because this is this is one that is definitely going to be one that when i'm not actively just you know banging one album into my head to get ready to review it this is going to be on my you know my steady rotation along with you know stract and kurt kennedy um ivy connerly uh, stuff like that. So really, really good album. Um, as far as, I mean, actually, this one was not hard to find my favorite song, and it's not just because Stract. This has probably got one of the sickest beats of, of any song that I've heard in, in, in a little while. And so Self Made, and I'm going to play that. I should have actually not mention that one yet because I'm not going to play it yet. I actually want to play part of the video. The one of the first uh, singles that dropped out of this album that uh, he put out the video for it a while back, a couple of weeks. And so I was actually, I was kind of, I'm like, well, wait, where's the, the whole album? Cause I thought the the album was coming out at the same time, but it just dropped untapped the, the song in the video. And then the album came out a little while after that, but here we're going to check out, the music video for Untapped, uh, the second song on the album, and then we'll get into uh, the whole issue of, of my favorite song, and I'll play a little bit of my favorite song for you. But here is Untapped, the music video. This is Lucha Cooney uh, from the Grateful Grind uh, album.
All right, so there we go. Lucha Cooney untapped. Uh, and, I mean, and again, that, I mean, great song, cool video, not even the best song on the album. You know, I mean, it is, this is uh, just one after another after another. Um, this has had just amazing songs on here. So, um, of course, my, my favorite is Self Made. Um, I, th- I just think everything that, that went into this, the features, Stract, Gil Velez, um, just really good stuff. Stract killed it. Stract killed his verse on this. Um, the beat is awesome. One thing, let me let me just throw out this. One thing I miss about buying D- or CDs and stuff like that and having a, a physical album with a cover and all that is to be able to see who made the beats and stuff like that, who produced it and, and so on. So, which is really hard uh, with, I mean, Google Play does not, have, I don't know if maybe iTunes does. I don't use iTunes. I'm an anti-Apple guy. So I don't know if it has all that information, but when I click on like info or anything like that, it doesn't give me the deep into the 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 bits and pieces of the songs um, information, like who made the beats and stuff like that. I mean, maybe Lou makes his own beats, which is cool, um, but I mean the the beat for Self Made was the was um, the one that was just like wow, just grabbed me. Um, you know, because I mean, and I, I'm getting into the, the, the album as you're listening to it. And then it's just like, you know, whoa, <laughs> where did this come from? And uh, so that was that's my favorite. I'm going to play a bit of that here in a minute. Then um, my favorite flow is uh, Free to Grow featuring KD, KBG. Um, and I don't know, just something about the way that he flows to that song just kind of hit me. So I'm going to play a little bit of both of those. Um, just to give you guys a little taste of of what that is, um, what those ones sound like, and then we'll we'll uh, wrap that up. So here is uh, just a little piece of Self Made uh, by Lucha Cooney featuring Stract and Gil Velez. <laughs> is the theory though that you in charge of every experience that will lead you to fulfill your goals you stand still and pose take a selfie twitter show hashtag self-made crop the picture is the post atlanta small isn't it ironic to suppose you made it yourself and there's so much that you cannot control the place of your birth the date the way you came into this world the size and gender and the way that you were the relationships that would make or break you pain and the hurt everything you ever survived and how you came to mature there was stuff that worked in your favor that would straighten the curve and made a way for you when you were feeling safe and secure it's insane to refer to yourself as the orchestrator of everything that has brought you wealth and the coordinator that kept you off of the core in this table and on the radar let go of the glory that you claim it and just praise god you never made yourself you ain't self-made you live inside a world that you never made you about to play yourself but it ain't a game pay homage to the one that made everything you never made yourself you ain't self-made you live inside a world that you never made You about to play yourself, but it ain't a game Pay homage to the one that yo, made yo, everything yo, yo, what you make you become deafblind Silver and gold from a human design Idols can't talk, homie, you in decline You can only do anything if you in the vine Deuce to the branch that don't want to be your amber We move to the cross, quiet, no rambler Alright, I'm going to pull that out Um if you want the rest of that track verse, you got to go buy the album. That's a bona fide tease right there. If you want the rest of that, you want the rest of that awesome verse, you got to go buy this album or, you know, bootleg it somewhere. Don't do that. Don't do it. Um, so that was self made and uh, just, I mean, overall, my favorite song completely through the whole thing and now i want to play just a little bit again i'm not going to play the whole thing you want the whole thing you got to go spend some money support our brother and buy an album and uh and do that and i'll get on that soapbox here in a minute but before we get into all of that let me just play a little bit of free to grow uh from lucha cooney (laughs) 
Yeah, I've been to myself, feeling like I'm so shocked, living like I'm in a cell, but it ain't a cell block. Thought it wasn't hard to tell, wishing I could tell Nas that I really know the world, not mine, but my pops. Looking at the time going by on my watch, and I wonder will I ever live to get another shot? But the minute that I minimize the rhythm that I got, I diminish what was given, like it's really not a lot. Whoa, apparently the pebble of talents is something I fail to acknowledge and manage. But treating the blessings I'm given like it's not enough, and it's far from the average. But why do I not take advantage of what I think is less than advancing by taking a chance and placing my faith in the hands of the one who was crafted? Me, free, trying to live out the dream. 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 We can do a lot with a little Dennis, the literal king. Alrighty, and there is free to grow by Lucha Kenny featuring KBG. Um, and then the very next interlude, the Move by Faith interlude, is uh, featuring Alistair Begg. If, if there is any way that you can just sucker me into an album, put anything by Alistair Begg. I love that man's accent. The fact that he it's coupled with sound theology is great, but I, I just, yeah. If, if, if I could speak with a Scottish accent... Well, I would, but I can't, so I won't. We'll leave that to Alistair Begg. And uh, so there you go, guys. Grateful Grind, Lucha Cooney. Um, out right now, you can get it on Google Play, iTunes, wherever you get. Go to Lucha Cooney Music. Again, um, where people get the most money, I would assume that, that going through their website would give them the, the best return uh, for the money that you spend. Um, rather than having to give anything to Google or whatever. So, but go check out luchacunimusic.com. That's his website. Um, and pick up the album. I think it was nine bucks, ten bucks, nine fifty. Excuse me, somewhere in there. So again, eleven songs. Uh, great, great, great album. Um, you'll love it. You won't be. You won't be disappointed by it. If you love hip hop, you're gonna love this album. And if you don't, then you don't love hip hop. And that's all there is to it. I said it. Um, and so here, disclaimer: Norm's climbing up on his soapbox again. Go spend the money for this. I think this is actually streaming on a couple of places. It might be streaming on Spotify and so on. But again, our brothers and sisters who are making uh, CHH, who are making music that is glorifying to God, they they get squat off of streaming they really don't make much money off of streaming if you really want to support them if we want to see the continuation of uh good god glorifying theologically sound chh then we've got to be willing to put our money where our mouth is again we vote with our wallets we put our money where our mouth is and support these guys that's why I, one of the things why i love Bandcamp is you can actually give a little bit more i mean Google Play, where I bought this album, doesn't give me an option to leave like a tip or anything like that. Um, but you know, Bandcamp, you can. You, I mean, if it, if they're asking for seven bucks, you can give ten. You can do whatever. And again, that is not me patting myself on my back, uh, saying, "Well, you know, look at this." What? No. If you really want to support it, support it. You know, you leave a tip when you get a really good cup of coffee and half the time you leave a tip before you even taste a cup of coffee so you don't even know if it's good or not so why would we not leave a tip for these guys that are, are giving us good entertaining theologically sound god glorifying music uh that we love support them pay for it give a drop 10 bucks to own the album, download it onto your phone, take up some of that SD card space that you're just saving up for selfies and other stuff and put some music on there. That way, if you're out in the middle of nowhere with no cell signal, you still got music, right? There, there, there's a reason behind it. So, Lucha Cooney, uh, The Grateful Grind, the album is out there now. Go get it. Um, I tell Norm sent you and you'll get nothing special except maybe a quizzical look of going who 
So uh, um, I hope you guys uh, check it out. I hope you liked it. Uh, as always, preach the gospel at all times. Use words. They're necessary. Until next time, Soli Deo Gloria. Mm-hmm.